Hi and welcome back to the Empower Hair Play podcast. I'm Yashmin, this is Sama and this is Shafia. And today we're going to be talking about food that we grew up with. Um, so like favourite dishes, uh, Bengali or not Bengali, uh, it doesn't matter. But what was your favourite dishes that you your parents used to make for you? Or used it was to always have. Bengali. <laughs> no. we had, yeah, we had nothing other than Bengali. Apart from the chips sometimes on the weekend. Chew me, oh yeah, how can we forget that? <laughs> yeah, but, but like today for lunch, I had this one of my favourites. Meat and cabbage curry. Oh, oh that no. is yeah. nice. Yummy. I Did you make that. that? I made it. Oh, you made it. Yeah, but it's never as good as my mum's. Of course. My mum used yeah, to have it and the flavour or something. Mm. And she used to cut the cabbage mm. so thinly. Thin. Yeah. yeah, mine are like big chunky pieces. But you know, it makes a huge difference when you yeah, do it cut it yeah, thinly. Yeah, yeah. And, and the uh, dough. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I know. Dye, oh, it? I used to use that. You do? You used to that? What for though? Cutting things or cutting. For people. Threatening. Threats. Threats. No, no, no. Um, you look quite bad in that leather jacket, though. Shots. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you put in that? Sorry. Go on, shots, go on, right, let's go it. back to food. Um, <laughs> swiftly moving on. Yes. I like, do you know um, Nali Shug? Mm. Yeah. I love oh, that. Oh, I don't know. I haven't had that too much. No, no, that one. My mum used Is to cook slimy? it. Yes, yeah, slimy oh, one. Okay. And my mum's was the best. I tried it the Did other day. Did she put stuff in it? Like yes. Yeah, you know the... Um, <laughs> no, 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 this is not the shifty one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> like seeds and beads and yeah. stuff in it. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, like I had potato, but this one, my mum used to do it with... um um Kartal bisi. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So, Mine is tell always... us what bisi is for the viewers who don't know. What is kartal bisi in English? Jackfruit. Jackfruit, that's it. I wanted her to work it out. No, no, I know that I'm much. I'm just struggling. I'm sure I was struggling. Thanks, Yash. Yeah. She's a bully. <laughs> <laughs> bully. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Um, yeah, um, so yeah. And um, donor kebab. Ooh, mm. yeah. That was when it have first a... come out. Oh, though. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. when it first came yeah. out? It was so new. And because it, it was halal, we were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like, wow. <laughs> but you know, another thing was when we first had pizza on a school disco, and that was back in primary. <laughs> Do we call it school disco? disco? Back in those days, okay? You need to explain that one, definitely. School prom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they done pizza and I was thinking, oh, what are these? And then we find out there's pizza, yeah? And ever since then, it was growing up was pizza, oh. one of my favourite. I wonder mm. what the first time we ate pizza was, isn't it? School dinners, no? Yeah, school parties. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I remember school episodes. I think a lot of school dinners introduce a lot of different foods, right? Yeah, yeah. Later, not... not when we, I don't know about Sarah, but not when we were growing up. We didn't up. have halal, halal food when we were growing up. No, no. Up. Like your, did you have halal Not straight school? away. No. So I remember, like, in, in primary school, I hated school dinners. I was really fussy eat. I was really, really fussy eat, and I didn't like anything and, and stuff, and they would give you, like, weird stuff. And then one day I saw kima on the menu, you know, like wow. some, like, pudding thing with kima inside. Oh, and I thought, the... oh, that looks familiar. I like kima. So I got it. <laughs> took a spite off and my teacher came around she went you're not allowed to eat that and she took it and oh she no. gave me like cauliflower what was a mince pie wasn't it yeah, something yeah like that. Oh. and I was so sad because it was like the first time I, I enjoyed it please came back for you <laughs> yeah they're back the again the first time I enjoyed school dinner so um <laughs> I love school dinners. Did you? Yeah, even the fish fingers and mashed potato. That was oh, top that to was me. no, but you know what? It doesn't taste ni- nice anymore now. No, no, it doesn't. You know, like when we first yeah. had it with the pea, green peas and the mashed potato. Yeah, it used to be so nice. But now it does. We tried it hundreds at a time. There's so something different. Yeah, about that. <laughs> no, yeah. but it used to be so buttery wasn't and smooth. Mash. It was that smashed. No, you spoiled that for me, man. No. I thought they used to work no, really no, hard no, mashed no, potatoes. No, Why? What is it? They use that powder stuff. Powder stuff. What powder? Smash. I buy you some. Okay, then does it say nice as school dinners ones? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Can I, I have some now? I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is it? Isn't it just dried potatoes? I don't know. Some chemically enhanced something. Mm. Anyway, what was your favourite? Is it just uh, meat and cauliflower? Uh, I love cabbage. yeah, and like meat and aloo. Was, I grew up on meat yeah. and aloo. Yeah, and yeah we grew up there. That was one of but the But even my thing. dad, I think I've mentioned this before, but if even if dad made a endabiran, that yeah. was just mm. used to taste so nice. Or even a simple sardine. <laughs> what were you, yes? It has to be meat and potato. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the thing in <clears throat> And families. those big, soggy potatoes. Yeah, the one that you mash up and make lunkas. Yeah, but the ones that you stir Did you the say lunkas? And... Did you say lunkas? Okay, oh, I said, I said that, one. right? No? 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 Bobby's no. shaking his head. <laughs> one lunka. What the hell is that? Two lunka, three lunka. <laughs> no, I'm not that one now. Don't look at me with Do this you know one. No, I don't lunka either. Do you know it? Yeah. Oh, my God. I from my husband's family. Someone knows something more than me. 
I think I learned it from my um, husband's side actually. So what is it? What is like it? A, like like we would say hamor ma- or hamor, isn't it? Like, you know. <laughs> no hamor. <laughs> <laughs> like a bite, yeah. Like, like a bite. You know, like you bite. make it. We'd say, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, no, so I haven't lunka. heard lunka. I don't know what the translation is for lunka. Lunka is a... Uh... <laughs> I show you. You <laughs> mix your rice. You make a lunka. I make a bowl. Oh, okay. That's a lunka. Okay. okay, everyone understand? Clear? Yes, yes, now we do, now we do. <laughs> Some but you... even dal and um, fingy. Yeah. Alu, rena, alu bazi. Oh, I like alu bazi. Alu rena, what's that? Eh? Alu bazi. Alu bazi on its own. But not with dal. Mix oh, together. No. God, that is the best mm. combination. Mm. Even Bobby agrees. Yeah? No, no, no. What, the dal and the bazi together? No, 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 oh no, my God. Cook together. That no. is, no, no, cook together. No, 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 no. We used to, <laughs> we used to do, you know, like masur satni, fish fish satni with yes. dial as well. Oh, I know it's a weird combo, You're not but it's banging. Yes, you are. No, you oh, are. did your parents have the, so yes. is it, you couldn't mix certain things yes. together, yes. and you had to get different and rice certain orders. and yeah. certain orders, orders. Yeah. definitely. Do and orders. if you don't eat in a certain order, you're. Apparently, but you're not. You can you're just uneducated eat. if you don't do that. Oh, is that really? what it is? Oh, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, it's a class thing. Oh, but there's certain it? things if you mix, you start getting illnesses. Ew. No, no, is it? Like you shouldn't oh. have uh, meat before fish or something. Yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. They right? say that. You've got to have fish but first and then meat after. I just get everything on my plate and I just eat it together. Oh, that's bad. Child. Is it? You're oh. not a real Bengali. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Lunka, do I? So how did you used to feed your kids? Did you not used to maha it and put it in Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you used to call those lungas? Just to name them, people. No, this yeah, I did. I did. Auntie I said, Salma. Nana, 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 I didn't, I didn't. Oh. But you know, um, I was going to say something else that tastes nice. It just got gone in my head now, to be honest. We were talking about alu bazi. No, oh, alu dail. Do you know that? Oh, alu I was going to talk about that. Oh, yeah. I never had alu dail in my life. And then my parents went to Hajj you know, when Bobby? I was like seven years old. And Shaf's mum came and stayed with us. And she made this alu dal. It's potato and egg, and it's all just stewed up. And it was the most and delicious so thing yeah. I've had in my life. She used to cook life. such amazing curries. I'm curry. guessing dal was in it, yeah? No. no. <laughs> there's, no there's no dal in it. That's the best thing about it. It's yeah. literally yeah. potato. So when my mum came it. back, I was like, when Hofu came to stay, she made this thing, mum. She made this thing, make it. And my mum's like, I don't know what it is. Even my mum didn't know what it is. I don't think any other Bengali yeah, knows I think it was just... It's it's I got one worse than this. I got one worse. What? Hootki dal. No. Mm. How do you do it's that actually one? really nice. What, it's a lot thicker. To... It's a lot thicker. It's got hoodkey in it. It's a lot thicker. And you know in the... This is, a weird, dialing, this is technical. You know in the bagar. <laughs> you, at the <laughs> end of dying. You know when you uh, put, fry the garlic and, and whatever. Oh, and and yeah, the phosphoron. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Uh, uh, you fry the hoodkey with it and then put it in and you do hoodkey dial. Wow. <laughs> Bobby, can you cook for us one day? Yeah, please? one day, Bobby. Sure, we can make it into an episode. <laughs> Can try my food. Try it for this food. Do we survive? <laughs> Do we survive? If, if we don't make it for next podcast, you know what happened to us. It's either that or we got shut down by the Haram yeah. police. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> it's Hutki oh. Halal. Isn't it? Big question, isn't it? Is it? Well, prawns. Some, some people don't eat prawns because Sometimes, they say it's And some good, say isn't that, it? you know, when it's fur, you know that one that you have in a. That jaw? No, the one in the, that comes in a. T- tube or something i'm not sure what you're doing with your hand actually yeah. no. <laughs> but they put the hoodki in there and it's fermented for a long time and lot does it turn into that's... alcohol yeah <laughs> literally oh does it alcoholic fish i have a problem with this you what? know like when you have fruit and you leave it out yeah. then that ferment it's stupid yeah. hello police we need a sound yeah look <laughs> yeah can i have <laughs> drinking from the boat <laughs> Misspent youth. <laughs> secret joke um, between us. Yeah, yeah, if nobody else is going to get it. <laughs> it's not secret, it's public. <laughs> <laughs> so I always get that you do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. All right, so moving on to embarrassing moments. Mm. Oh, l- let's talk about. Sorry. Uh, I know, Shash, you've got quite a few, but. Yes. Sal, Sal never talks about no, the embarrassing on, Sal, moments. Yes. I don't have any. No, oh, you shut do. up. Come on. I come don't on. Have any. Uh, I'll start you off. Oh, good. And then you carry on. Go on. I'll start with mine, and oh, then okay. you, you chip in with yours. So I've got quite a few. So there was once, right? So um, when I moved into a rented house and I had to go to the laundry to do my laundry. So oh I, I put my laundry and then um, I went to get my salt powder from the lady and change. 
Turned back, put my machine on, sat down. I'm thinking, why is my machine not working? <laughs> and then you I realised I put someone else's on. <laughs> and those people came in and they're like, huh? Why is my one not finished yet? We've been like, we've been gone for an hour. Oh, I was on the second one. <laughs> They're white for white, I can imagine and this man one. was sitting and next to me. Nothing. He saw the whole thing unfold. Uh, he said nothing. And I just sat there like this. <laughs> not me. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't, it wasn't me. me. <laughs> I was so funny. I was oh just sitting there laughing my head off. Man. Yeah, so that's my one. I've got another couple. What's you, about keep yours? Going. Oh my god! Oh, keep going. So there's another time. So our front door used to get stuck. So this was when I was going on my, um, at home. And our front door used to get stuck. So... We went home and I put the key in and my sister goes, push. And I was like, I am, I am, I can't get in, I can't get in, it's too, st- like, it's dark. Yeah. And she goes, push it, just put, use all your might and push it. Yeah, sure. Do you know what happened? I fell in the door <laughs> and the <laughs> key broke. <laughs> and you didn't your parents, right. did you? Right. Where was you being framed? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh my god! And the other one was, you know, that Barclays Bank in Ilford. Yeah. The old More recent one. one. The old one. Yeah. The one four seven came the bus. My sister goes run, and I had those stupid, no. stupid wide legs. She had on. Oh Ooh. my god! You were rolling. <laughs> yeah. And I lost my money for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> to walk it home. <laughs> Tell us about the that phone. I can see. Let's that I can see. see. Oh, so yes, was the one. Do you remember? Oh, do you remember? No, 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 you don't. High Street North, there was, used to be a quick save. Do you remember the shop quick save? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shuffle oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On East Ham. Yeah, East Ham yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Outside there, a game with my flary, bloody shower cummies. <laughs> and it was icy, holding a box. Whoosh! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I had a yeah. phone on the ice one. Yeah. I had many phones. See, why do I only know other people's embarrations? Because stories? you don't want to talk about your. I think I've selectively blocked her. I no. have amnesia. I actually oh. don't remember single had... embarrassing Oh, shut up. Please. But Come I remember at Ford. Oh my God, my form tutor. Uh oh. Wherever you are, you know who you are. I love you, sir. When sir? I was in school. Sir? Yeah. Sir? You can't sir? say that. Yo, oh, haram. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> You said I love you, sir. Oh right, okay, never mind. Um, I did love him. He was like a father. You know, form tutors are like father figures, yeah. aren't they? And he comes down for a registration. Sorry, we used like to do registration English outside, like that. and then we're on like the flat bit, and we used to have this sports ground, and it was like a bit of a steep, and it had rained, and he just did, you know, the slip, but trying to get back up, slip, but trying, to, and he went back. <laughs> and he was covered in mud for the oh, whole day. Oh my god! And you know, we were like fifteen at the time, so we all laughed. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's so, yeah. not nice, is it? But, but what's your story? Yeah, we need, about, no, we need on, to get Brown Nicking. You must know about me. We need to get Brown Nicking. Oh, I've got so many about him. Oh, so I'm sure he has about you as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah. We should have asked, yeah. Yeah, we should have texted him. Mm. Go and text him. Hey, Shaf, Shaf, you've seen me grow up. You must have embarrassing stories. And say, bye, what I is see, I was just a bit of a brat. Oh, my God. Put the phone away. <laughs> hey, text him. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Shall we get some? No, phone him. Phone yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do the phone call one, yeah? <laughs> call a friend. Call a friend, that's it. Right, what did I put in my dog? <laughs> Nick, Brown, Nick. Oh, there we are. Oh, my God. What, what the hell? He's going to have a heart attack. Is he at work, though? Yeah, he's at work. We can hear it on the mic. No, he's not on work. He's going to sway, you know. It's, 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 we can actually working. hear it on the mic. He's working from home. <laughs> it's like, come by. You're on the podcast, don't say anything. <laughs> You're on the podcast. We're calling a friend, yeah? <laughs> we want to know about Sam's um, embarrassing moments, please. Oh, my God. She's selectively forgotten. Yeah. We're going to put you on the speaker, yeah? So you just tell us about Sam's embarrassing moments. I'm going to put you on loudspeaker. Huh? She's... Oh, my God, he said, hold on, you're going to be on speaker. Go. What, what if I don't have any embarrassing moments? Oh, come, oh, on. come on! Come on! <laughs> come on! Come she, on, it must she be! She told all your, your stories, so I'd yeah. get back if I was you. <laughs> You've got loads of embarrassing moments. She's just told us all of it on the podcast. Lies, lies. I didn't say anything. Yeah, you better wait till you watch it. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of any. Oh, bless him. We can't put him on the spot. Let me just punish my name. Are you having a laugh? No, I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> I've had, I, I've had plenty, but... <laughs> yeah, she told us about your we plenty. We know about yours. We just want one. We just want one, one of Sarah's. 
Well, you just put me on the spot, you have. Don't, All right, text us, text us. All right, text us. Yeah, we're going to give you five minutes. We'll give you five minutes. We'll give you five minutes, Just being a Spurs fan is pretty embarrassing. All right. Yeah, that's that's true. See? All right, it's like Spurs fans embarrassing. Come on, you got to come back with one better. My only worry is now that shafi has got my number. She couldn't remember what she saved you as. It's brown Nick, by the way. What is it saved us? Bablo. Sorry, Mike. Say yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I like that. See, I don't have him back. Oh, let's do 50-50. Call, call my siblings and you would have gone, oh. Call Alpha, call Alpha. No, 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 no. I'm going to call time. Shiri Jill. Oh. Yeah, call Alpha. Do you call him? Yeah. Raima no. probably still driving. Yeah, Raima. No, she's driving. <laughs> they're all driving. <laughs> they're the drivers. They're, they're all driving. driving. <laughs> No. no one else drives to sell kit of her brothers and sisters, yeah? They're all driving. Oh. All right, we give you a bit time just I to say one. I honestly can't remember any embarrassing stories. Come on, you must have been embarrassed in front of your, uh, uh, your daughter's teacher, Quran teacher, Something. ballet, you must have farted. Oh, God. <laughs> got her! I got her! Yeah, that's what it is. I got her! You know when you were doing ballet lessons all this yeah. time, you telling me you never fall down, fell down, whatever, no. no? Why would you fall down? Oh, so you've got the... Yes. No, but she farts when she goes. Yeah. <laughs> Do the split. <laughs> That's why the summer bottles on the seat is float up. away. <laughs> How does she keep your skirt up? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh, oh, all right. Come on, you yeah. best. I was on going to start one. It has stuff to be up. one. I can't. Yeah, I'm going to make stuff Shaf, up. Shaf, what about you? Shaf's has got laundry and it's well documented. <laughs> exactly. You can write a book on mine. <laughs> the fall. The fall. <laughs> Oh. Come on. No, you know, the classic one of mine was a few years, well, six, seven, eight years ago when I went to see my dad and um, it was proper ice. I went, whoo, like this. And then my dad goes, did you, you know, were you okay coming? I said, no, dad, I'm fine. I didn't fall. Oh, God, I was so much pain by sitting there. Oh, that was hard, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The next day he said, you're not coming because obviously the parents can sense it, isn't it? But I used to go and see my dad every day. I thought, you know what, make the most of it, isn't it? But so that was a classic fall, by the way. So another one I did on. How did that one go, Shia? Which one? That fool. Ice. That's what I said. Till I fell away. Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Muslim Sports Association, where empowerment and sportsmanship meet for Muslim women. Dive into our world of sports, tailored exclusively for you. From the exhilarating teamwork of football and the strategic plays of netball to the challenging strokes of dragon boat racing and the precision of fencing, whether you're looking to find your strength in wellness classes, or experience the thrill of the NFL. We've got it all. Join a community where faith meets fitness, courage and camaraderie. The Muslim Sports Association, where every Muslim woman discovers her champion within. Visit us today and kickstart your journey to greatness. Your sport, your sisterhood, your strength. So uh, we, MSA, have done a Muslim in Sports Heritage Project with um, Heritage Funding, and we've interviewed our participants just to document uh, their their journey with MSA in in sports and what that looked like at the beginning of their journey, what that looks like now, and what that looked like when they were growing up. So both Salma and Shafi were part of that um, process. Yeah. Uh, they were both interviewed. Did and, you get interviewed? Um, oh yeah, I did get interviewed yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so um, obviously we've launched the event now, um, and that was at the House of Sports at London Sports. A uh, successful launch, and lots of people Lovely, got, got yeah. to see it. Some people saw it at our event um, as well, and it's going to be taken around to different um, sites. So uh, Redbridge Library, Gansill Library, possibly Cambridge Mosque as well. Mm, yeah. So we want as many people as possible to see it, and we think the importance of it is because we want to archive our journey. Yeah. Because when I was doing my um, dissertation for my master's I couldn't find many references for Muslim women in sports yeah and what personal journeys look like um so I thought it was really important that we from MSA had something because we've seen it that transition from for example you Shafia yeah. for how you used to be and what how many sports you now participate in and you as well Samuel you, yeah, you yeah, so got involved with Pilates <coughs> yeah. and now you do loads of different sports mm. activities when I was doing us. the interview actually I realized how many different yeah. things I know were. I actually forgot. I don't think I mentioned half of them in my interview because you. Were, I was kind of naming them, naming them, and my the person who was interviewing me was just trying to give me like clues along the way because I was like, actually from the beginning where it was Pilates, then it was badminton, cycle. Like it's always been, and I think I, I mentioned that at the event as well where I was saying I'm not someone who loves one sport. 
I like trying different, different things. Yeah. So I yeah. do kind of like rotations mm. of different things. And I've yeah. tried a lot, actually. I've tried a yeah. lot. So it was really nice to kind of document that. And it's quite a big thing to it think. Is. It's going down in history. Like, yeah. this is amazing. Yes. It's yeah. actually amazing. Amazing yeah. thing. So you've tried golf as well, right? Yes. And rowing. Yeah. And chefs, you've Love done rowing. boxing. I've done boxing. I've done body cat. And that was a really good proper workout when yeah. I first joined. We both learned to cycle through MSA. And then, yeah, yeah, I learned both. through uh, um, yeah through MSA, and um, I did um, yoga. I done a taste of the um, archery, archery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, golf. Yeah, oh, you were there. You were there. Yeah, yeah, I done the yeah. 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 And it, it was, was yeah, that was really yeah. When I was doing my interview, it was like endless. It wasn't finishing because I wanted to list everything. Well, I did through my journey with MSA. And then I want you to talk a bit on it, but you know it's just like yeah. endless. You actually forget, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ten years is a long time, and a lot's happened, isn't yeah. it? And I think the beauty of this project as well was that we got our participants participants to mm. we um, upskill them to do the interviews too. Yes, so yes. that was really nice as well that they got to hear your journey um, and then share it. Sort of like compare it to their journey as mm, well yeah. and with self reflection. And when we were doing like the project, when we were discussing the project, what it's what it's going to look like and everything. And they individually had to, like Laura said, like, how did you get involved with MSA? And I know everyone. Yeah. But, but I didn't realise, like, how they started. Yeah. yeah. And I've forgotten or whatever. No, but there's um, so many. But it was so yeah. humbling of to course. hear mm. what their journey looked like and how they started with MSA and why they stayed in contact with MSA as well and what that journey looked mm. like throughout. And the idea of enabling people to do yeah. it and that's MSA in a yeah. nutshell isn't it yes. like we've always enabled coaches we've enabled people to do things yeah. so the fact that they were the interviewers interviewing us that was really great yeah. then you think about the photography as well you know our very own photographer doing it and then she's enabled now new yeah. amateur photographers who have gone on to do amazing I mean, the, 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 yeah. the, the young girl that was at the event taking photographs yes. she was obviously she's learnt from our photographer yeah. and um, she took amazing she did. pictures she was with me at the yeah. beginning of the where yeah. we were um, and what her mum said was uh, yeah. she, she learnt through um, yeah. the, the courses that we've um, provided yeah. which is right. really fantastic yeah. and yeah, I think really hopefully nice. that and the, the pictures were great yeah, yeah they, they were, were the pro- they and were. hopefully the project the heritage project um, showcases the doors that we open. It's not That's just it. within sports, but the leadership, um, the confidence that yeah. we give, the team building skills that we give. And loads are different. Like, if you think, take a step back and you think about what MSA has achieved, the number of sports that we've engaged with, the number of opportunities that we've provided. Um, you know, for a small organisation, that's, yeah. that's, I think, it's really, really positive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It and is. kind of looking forward, I always think, can you imagine what's going to happen in the next 10 years? Wow. Well, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, like, inshallah. We've done the whole yeah. creating coaches and creating sessions and creating opportunities, but yeah. I'm just thinking it's going to be something we haven't even... You didn't think about all of this 10 years, ten years ago. Now. And so I don't think we can even picture what the next no. 10 years is going to look like. What's inshallah been your many... highlight, um, Shafs? Well, so many, <laughs> to be honest. I don't even know where to start. So many. Hmm. Literally so many. For me to be here where I am... She can't get over her award, isn't it? I can't that's get over my award. <laughs> I was waiting for her to mention it. I She's like, can I mention no, no, the award what, again? I, yeah. I can't say the event bit again, um, but no, it is. Literally being where I am today, it's... I don't know, you can't even find it. Wow, I, I, it, that's my highlight. Like, how I was, how I came and how... You know, like, now you've... You know, like, I'm such a... You know, like, MSA is such a big part of my life now. I don't think I can see it without it. And just being part of everything, it makes me feel happy. So, alhamdulillah. What, alhamdulillah. what do your family say? My family is really proud. You know, on the event night, the girl, and my, all my kids um, were really looking forward to it. My son, you know, sat through there for the whole evening. And I'm so proud of him. Yeah, I know, my Not on his phone or anything. No, no, his phone. No, normally he says, can I have the game? But no, he was, li- I was watching him from where I was standing. I'm thinking, oh my God, he's looking, he's watching, he's clapping, and he's really enjoying uh, so I'm very proud. My family is my, you know, my uh, my kids. Everybody, they're really proud of me. Oh, to see where I am. Amazing. You know, I have had my one of my friend. He, she's a lovely friend from um, school runs that we have. She gave us such a lovely message. Yeah, I told yeah. you. She's yeah. saying that once, um, you know, her kids settle down, she wants to be like me. You know, do what I'm doing, and I'll, that made me really proud. Normal, yeah. yeah, because it will happen through amazing, MSA. Amazing. So Alhamdulillah, that's yes, great. that's really nice. That's yeah. really that that is, that's what that we is. want to capture, isn't it? Yeah. Those stories. So that if somebody else is doing their research on Muslim women in sports, I don't want them to find that, oh, there's absolutely nothing out there, that Muslim women are just being lazy or they're not participating. Yeah. That yeah. we are doing it. Exactly. And, and, she, we are she, doing yeah, and it. She, she, my friend, she's not even Muslim, she's a non-Muslim. So she's really, 
um, into what we do, you know, she wants to do it. At the moment, it's because of, um, you know... Young children. Young children, yeah. yeah, so... But I think, you know, as well, like, you know, people can easily go back and find our website, for yes. example. I'm thinking hundreds of years later. Like, actually, I got a bit worried because I was like, oh, my God, where can our story's going to be there? Like, long yeah. after long, we've got... Yeah. Like, our grandchildren, great-great-great-grandchildren can yeah. listen back and say, that's what she's yeah. like, oh, my God, yeah. fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> But whatever it is, like for them to look back and be yeah. like, because imagine think... listening to your grandparents' voice and, and yes. the story and, and so something... one of the things that we regret, right? That we, we didn't never talk it. to our grandparents yeah. enough yes. to know what no. their growing oh, up was like, what yeah. their stories were. Yeah. We just dismissed them yes. in a way, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think you know they did try to say their stories, yeah. but we didn't really like take yeah, it on and board. We didn't it. record it. Like maybe yeah. we had that conversation yeah. and so on, but to record it and yeah. to have it. And I think uh, more recent people have done books and so on, but I think there's something about the voice, isn't there? Definitely. Yeah, like really Definitely yeah. Because I think for them to then see the whole story, it's not just about, oh, I could find a website that was created in 2014. Okay, sports existed for Muslim women, but what are the individual stories? Yeah, literally. Who was this woman yeah, and where yeah. did she go and what, what came from? You know, from like we were well, many times in the book, was it a book club that we do that? What leg Legacy. Do you want to leave by? This is it. Yeah. This is mine. I feel Aww. happy to say this is my legacy, and my grandkids and great great grandkids can hear it <laughs> just to know that I'm, yeah. you know, listening to. Like Sal said, to be yeah, honest, yeah, so yeah. absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. Which photos did you have? Oh, nice picture. Yours I love that picture. Great as well, isn't it? Yeah. On, the, on the display. Yes. It looks yeah. So, yeah. Nice. so your ballerina, you know, yeah, really. Why I asked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you look really good. I know that looks really you look I found like my nicest skirt yeah. that yes. day because usually I'm like in trackies or whatever that day was my nice a lot of, lot of lady sisters want that dress by the way oh. they said to find out which how I got oh, that really? from yeah, so oh. there you go you modelled yeah. there right Reeve Dean I think um, the photographer must have taken off a few pounds <laughs> 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 no 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 great, that's yeah. real that's real yeah, yeah, no, she, I'm going to look really fashion. beautiful yeah, no, no, she yeah. Yeah. Shall, like, yeah. Yeah. I did say to can you make me slimmer and taller but <laughs> it was alright well Amal did one with me she'd done it at an angle where I looked so tall I was like oh my god I look really really tall was happy then. So it's an angle that you have to learn. <laughs> I'm going to talk about us um, holidays now. Growing up, where did we used to go for holidays? What was our? I said for like we're going to say you know Butlins or something. No, we're not. No. We're not going to say. When Butlins. we grew up, our best holiday was around Sal's house. Wasn't it Tenerife? And... No, nothing. Like, no <laughs> way. Upton yeah, Park, no. innit? Yeah, Chef, Upton... that was my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the furthest we went. It was Upton Park. Yeah. And ours was around Sal's house. And it's, oh, sorry, um, we actually really enjoyed it. We used to look forward to it. You know, getting on that bus, five of us, <laughs> kids, my mum and dad dragging us. Did we get what to... we used to stay? No, we didn't. No, kids, us kids stayed. Oh, OK. Uh, maybe the girls. Yeah, maybe but no not parents, my brother. No, not my yeah. parents. No, no. They used to come for the day yeah. and then leave some of us. But we really enjoyed and how we learned that, um, cycling with my, um, Sam's brothers. And it was just loads of fun. Yeah, no, I remember growing up. Because I grew up in different places, so... But obviously born in Manchester, I had my cousins there. Then we moved to Portsmouth, and then my dad brought people there for like from the Bengali community. So we built a network there, and then we moved all the way up back to Scotland. But moved all the way up to Scotland. So our holidays, we would come down and do the journey all the way back down. So wow. we'd go from yeah, yeah, yeah that was trip. fun as well. So from Scotland, we'd go to Manchester, then we'd go Loughborough, then we'd go Birmingham, wow. then we'd come down to London. And Did then you have relatives the, there? Were you well, everywhere, was, oh. everywhere. All them, oh, everywhere. Awesome. We but had you know, relatives. back then it was always busy, innit? Yeah, the whole, yeah. um, you know, when we were growing up, yeah. relatives are always round. Was it, though? Yeah, it was. It was. I remember, yeah. like, I'm... six weeks of summer holidays, what? spending a lot of time in front of the TV. No. No, so you... I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... Like, we, we, you, and back in the days, right, now I've, I've got a small house and I'll be like, if someone comes to stay, yeah, I'll be yeah, like, oh, yeah. my God, yeah. where do I put where them? Where do I put them? But, you know, when um, we used to go to our cousin's house, they really had a two-bedroom house. Yeah, yeah. and they like, managed. We managed. We, they managed. We all that slept the in together. It, wasn't it? That was oh. the fun Late night stories, horror stories, and then late night films. Yeah, man, oh my that God. was what they did. Yeah, when we used to go off, but there used to be a fish and chip shop. I used to love yeah, going to that. Fish and chip shop. Yeah, I like yeah. the breakfast. I like the breakfast my auntie yeah. used to make for us when we used to stay what over. Did she make? Egg bread with the proper English oh, breakfast. Proper the orange juice. The apple has to be apple had to be there. Well, my mum. Yes. She never made me that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what do I say about you, Sal? <laughs> Are you sure you weren't coming in from a dustbin or something? I don't know. Now, Sal, again, come on, see, you're, no. you're the, no, no, you, you came way after, so you missed out all those things. You know, when you when you were born, we ran, innit? <laughs> That's oh, that's so sad. Yeah. So that's your embarrassing moment. Yeah. Being left out, finding Being left in. out. So sad. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mum. <laughs> no, 
I loved, I loved our holidays. Yeah, man. We never went anywhere. Really I never even went to Bangladesh. Oh, yeah. No, no we, we, didn't we didn't go to Bangladesh. Bangladesh. No. We didn't go to Bangladesh, no. I didn't even yeah, go to Bangladesh. We, we went we like literally... every five years to Bangladesh. Really? Did you? Yeah, every five years. We went. I didn't go I until after I was married. Oh, is it? No, yeah. every five years, Dad made sure we went. Oh, wow. Well, that was nice. Did you yeah. enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. Loved Bangladesh. Loved it. But you ain't been in how many years now? Yeah, so many years now as an adult. 20, you said, yeah. 20 years. Wow. But your family goes back. Why don't you just tag along with them? Because um, of Nick, isn't it? <laughs> Blame it on Nick. <laughs> isn't it? See, Nick, she's and throwing it, you under the bus. Exactly, and you would be so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Nick just wants to go to Butler's. <laughs> 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 Sorry if I've offended anyone. <laughs> Butler's ain't that bad. I've been a couple okay, of times. No, that's it's quite a lot of fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's just that, that stereotype, isn't it? Yeah, like, let's go to the Butler's. What about your holidays now? So, um, chefs, you've been... Uh, quite adventurous the last few years, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, meaning abroad. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed Egypt because that was the first holiday after a you know, very long time. Normally, I, um, as a family, when my, uh, recently I went to Bangladesh. Mm. And then after that, just to go to Egypt was really nice to go to a resort, just enjoy there. And then I went to uh, Morocco last year, wasn't it? God, now it was a really nice experience yeah. for me to yeah and you yeah I love traveling yeah. anywhere anywhere yeah, yeah, you yeah. take me anywhere that's but I loved sun I loved the and... UK right last summer we went to Wales the summer before that we went to Scotland but you I do a lot it. here as well as a, yeah going abroad I love it yeah. Yeah. when the weather's good here yeah but you know what it costs it's one of the best so much so in the UK does, it does because yeah, we did does. a road trip like a couple of summers ago and we just stopped off like yeah. by the coast and stayed in a hotel for like like three different hotels and three different nights kind of thing. It costs more than going abroad. Yeah, so yeah that's, that's the thing. Just, Let's yeah, go, abroad. go abroad. Yeah. yeah, and you're guaranteed the weather. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but you know what? British summers are not bad, are they? Yeah. If you get the right. That's what I'm saying. Half if the week. weather is good. If you get the right half a week. Yeah. If you put the right days off from yeah, work yeah, yeah, yeah. at the right time, then yeah, you're so. you're good. No, but there is a lot to do in this country as well. By the yeah. way, there is. Yeah. Do you know that we don't really? Well, I don't mm. anyway. What's next holiday then? Obviously, I'm going Hajj. Yeah. And then I'm going Jordan. Oh, are you? Oh, oh when nice. You, when in September. Remember? September. Oh, lovely. Family? <coughs> nice. Yeah, oh, yeah I heard yeah. Jordan's a nice place, isn't it? Are you thinking it? about any Russia? Um, maybe. Oh, no, no, I don't. I, Take I, me I, with I, you. <laughs> Take me with you. Let's go together. Yeah, why not? We should do a trip together. No, it's my daughter. No, she now that she's like done. You didn't go to Bosnia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was going to say, you didn't even come to Bosnia with I'm me. I'm taking Nick with me, okay? No, it's because my daughter. Nick doesn't want to go with you. I know, he has to. Nick doesn't want to go home. He has to. He you come with choice. us. You don't need a. Yeah. No, I need Nick I'm your mother. Me, no, I mean. Oh, my goodness, me. Me, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it me, no? How much eyes can speak <laughs> in it? How much eyes can speak? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Sorry, Bobby. Boop, boop. <laughs> what did you add that in? <laughs> Oh. Thank you for watching the Empower Her Play podcast. If you haven't caught up with our previous podcasts, they're available on all good podcast platforms. See you next time. Thank you.